All them eagles, all them eagles. Hello, hello everyone. How are you all doing today? I'm doing amazing. I have played so much Minecraft today. And I can't wait to show you what I've done. So let's jump right to it. I don't want to show you the project yet. You can see it on the mini map, but uh, yeah. I've made myself a couple generator. I've shut it down for the intro because it's making noise. It's generating quite a lot of cobblestone actually. It's, it's quite an easy thing. The sensitive block uh, locators are detecting if there's cobblestone in front of the thing and if you go down here you can see there's a uh, front piece of it so it's basically just detecting if there's a cobblestone block in front of it it puts it inside of the hopper and it puts it inside of here so yeah that's really simple because i i'm going to need quite a lot of stuff uh, quite a lot of stone in the future but i'm going to shut this down for now so i can uh, get the more fps uh, okay, let's put this thing on. Okay, and now for the Grand Refilment. I have been busy, guys. Like, really busy today. Placing a lot of blocks, laying out, laying out stuff. Let's go in bed mode for now. So, so I can show you a little bit. I think I have most of the outline done for the lower floor. I have every room labeled, I think. I've done some structural work and stuff like that. I've tweeted this thing out, so I highly suggest following me on Twitter because I'm tweeting sometimes now and then uh, some uh, sneak peeks out. So I definitely recommend following me on Twitter. Um, so yeah, this is going to be layout. Uh, let's enlarge the view render distance a little bit to 15 or so. So uh, give me a second. Okay, welcome back. I think that's enough. <laughs> um, I really love how it's like, uh, like, plays down like everything. I love the layout I have done uh, so far. I may change a few things here and there, but uh, I really like uh, enjoy it. Or I don't enjoy it, but I, I am uh, um, what you call it again. Um, I'm happy with the layout. That's the thing I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go uh, down again. Oh, let's do the right thing. These dirt blocks, uh, our reinforced dirt, cobble dirt stuff, are going to be paths. Uh, they aren't like set yet, but I just wanted to get a general idea. Um, I think that I, I kind of like how the roads uh, are a little bit bendy and stuff like that. Um, okay, uh, this front garden is going to be a botania, a botania slash butchery area because. Well, the both uh, of the mods are highly uh, like outside aimed. Even uh, witchery is really does really needs like uh, like flowers and trees around them. So yeah, that's the perfect place for them. And Botania, yeah, it's a flower mod, so <laughs> it's not really a mod for like the inside. I'm sorry for my crazy laugh just a second ago. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the search area for that mod for those mods. I think the upper one is going to be the rich one and the lower one is going to be the botania one or maybe the lower one is going to be both and upper one is going to be something different maybe a witchery area would be cool oh yeah I, i'm like building this with like all the ideas in my head I'm, I'm really excited to show this to you guys i actually wanted to do this in the uh, uh, next morning like it's now uh let's see oh the fps drops uh, oh, it's back again. <laughs> I was going to cut out a little bit so I can uh, lower my uh, view distance again, but uh, this would do it, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I was planning to do this uh, tomorrow morning, but I was so excited I felt I couldn't sleep without showing you this guy uh, this before <laughs> before I go to sleep actually. So yeah, I'm also a little bit chatterbrained, so that's why I'm talking really fast. So uh, give me a second. I will calm down for a second. All right, guys. I'm calm down now. Just took a deep breath and uh, relax myself a little bit. Do I have some cobble on me? I don't. Uh, there should be a cobble block here, but uh, doesn't matter for now. 
Um, there are like multiple entrances to my castle. Uh, it's not a castle at the moment, but uh, it will be in the future. There's one there, one there, and one there. These two are really close together, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't want to have an entrance here because uh, else it would be, uh, I don't know, you have an entrance here, uh, here, and one there, and one there, and one there. I don't know. I think this is good, but I also can change it. Anyway, um, this is uh, one of the entrances. This is the mesh hall. It should be the mesh hall. Uh, it should be the mesh hall. Uh, basically, a place where people eat and stuff like that. I know I'm the only one in this single player world, but uh, you know, I do want to get into some uh, uh, design, if you want to uh, call it like that. This is going to be my sleeping room. I'm not sure if this is going to be purely decoration or also my sleeping room. Because here's some fire. Maybe that's on the ground. <laughs> or I want to have one on top. But I will talk about that later. Uh, let's continue on here. Uh, these halls are like three wide, most of them, but uh, only the main halls. Like this one is one of the main halls and it's four wide. I'm planning to do some uh, two wide car carpenter in the middle and here one wide with some uh, fancy stone on the sides. This is going to be my main storage room, like uh, get rid and go away uh, leaf pile thingy um this is going to be my main storage room uh old chests or lockers or something like that from better storage all the things from better storage i mean um i have no idea for this room yet maybe it's going to be two levels i think it would be awesome to have like here a two wide staircase like i don't know from this side because i think i'm going to come from this way way more than from that way but i don't know yet I have like all the imagine in my head and I just need to place blocks down so yeah uh, if you can imagine if you have some ideas for any of these rooms by the way um, just say it in the comment and I will definitely take a look at it um, then we are going to walk along into this room this is actually the wrong entrance well it's it is the good entrance but not the explanatory one because I do not remember all of them. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we have a automation mod or a machine mod, like that's called Flexbeard T mod. I think I do want to get it right. Yeah, a Flexbeard Steam Power. It's a quite a cool mod, but I have no idea how it works. But I just gave it a big space because this is also going to be my automation room, like cobblestone generation and uh, vanilla automation and stuff like that if you know what i mean it's going to be a quite cool project i say i maybe do uh, may, i want to make a emerald farm or something like that here with some uh what's i call it which no not witches but with uh, villagers and stuff like that i am not entirely sure yet Ugh, my english <laughs> Okay, behind me, that's the thing I tweeted. This is a grand project of me. Oh, lag spike. Uh, already uh, laid down a bunch of carpenter's blocks, but that's not a problem because I have all the wood. I really love this design though. I might change something with the stairs, I don't know yet. But uh, I'm thinking about putting some... Uh, excuse me. Putting some uh, uh, iron blocks or some uh, iron textured block inside of the middle like a, a beam is going through it and like um, I don't know what kind of stairs I kind of want to use uh, great wood stairs but I didn't found any great wood logs or trees yet so yeah that's a problem give me a second okay welcome back I need to quit cutting so often <laughs> anyway this is going to be my tongue craft area I'm thinking about like having uh, on top of this or on this level um, the, the infusion altar and on the opposite one, whichever I choose to have the other altar or have the other charm craft stuff. I think I will have the infusion altar here. I don't know why. I think it would be cool. Or maybe on top of here. I am so undecided if undecided if today. I think up here because I can put the things up here. Okay, let's have a sleep really quick before we can are going to continue with this tour. Okay, welcome back people So yeah, then we are in, are in this main hall um, 
By the way, all of these towers are going to be the same thing, like uh, straight up with the spiral staircase. I have no idea what I want to put in the top. Maybe some uh, magic related. Maybe I want to have one witch tower or something like that. I have no idea. Or mage tower, not witch tower, mage tower. But I have no idea what I want to do with that yet. Hom nom nom nom. Okay, let's continue on. This room we built last episode, that's basically going to be. Uh, this sounds really loud. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that's. Um, Alright, I think it's on my side really loud. I'm sorry guys <clears throat> This is going to be my Tinker's contract area. I think I put a smeltery here like a full-size one I've also seen some tricks pictures from M Dio where you can use custom size one So I can I am going to take a look if uh, that's stable and maybe update it in this pack So we can have some custom size uh, smelteries because that would be really awesome to have a humongous one or a wide one here like three deep but really wide I don't know yet about it guys but uh, that would be really amazing I think uh, this is going to be my necromancy slash dungeon room I have no idea how I want to do that yet but I think I want to uh, conquer the whole area under here uh, just conquer it and uh, well I don't have any blocks on me because zombies can jump up here I have some zombies coming from down there, so uh, I want to block this off. This off. Anyway, mm, let's take a look. Yeah, I think I want to make myself uh, here a little necromancy area, or else like somewhere in the dungeon. I don't know yet because. Oh, pardon. Beg your pardon. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, uh, this is going to be my bulk storage room. Like, <laughs> I really love the looks of this. I. Th I think I want to put some more lockers above here, like, I don't know yet. Maybe I need to change up the size of this room, can I? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know yet. But this is going to be basically a bulk storage room, I already started throwing some uh, dirt here and stuff like that. This is going to be a stair up, like a level up, uh, I've, it's going to be higher than that. I think that's going to be the... Uh, not the floor. I think the floor will be somewhere. Let's grab some dirt for that. I think. Oh, I think uh, there will be lay in between, or and this will be the floor. Then I think. I'm not sure about that though because I don't know. Yeah, I think that I will do this so I can have some uh, more room here if I want to make some beautiful. Uh, what's it called? It like a beautiful carving into the uh, top of the roof or the underside of the roof I'm kind of derping now I'm sorry guys but this is, this is basically the idea for my uh, castle at the moment and I've planned to like have a bigger building on top of the castle when it's done but I'm first going to start with building the like the bottom floor of it I have no idea how to where to start yet though I think I will start with some of the most important rooms like uh, the Tinker's Construct room because I want to move my Tinker's Construct uh, set up to this room. I'm also thinking about uh, only using these chests for like uh, metal and alloy storage and uh, using the rest of the room like having uh, we have Bibliocraft didn't, don't we? Eh? Bibliocraft we yeah, should have yeah looking like shelves and uh, to racks to like store tools and stuff like that that we have made over the time I think that would be a cool idea like don't have any other chest for tools just have them hanging on the wall just a little bit of uh, we can brag with it basically I think that would be an amazing idea and I think we want to um, also I have here a yeah and I also want to start with this room so uh, yeah <coughs> So I can basically store stuff. This room is basically finished. It's just some lockers. <laughs> nothing really special. Nothing really special. But uh, just some lockers. Awesome. Anyway guys. What are we going to do this episode? We aren't going to work on the castle. I think the castle would be more of a... Of, I think I would do more of the castle during a live stream. And less building on camera because I really need to concentrate while building and else I'll, it would be, I think it basically would be a boring episode. And I don't want to put up boring episodes. 
Anyway guys, I think we are going to do this episode something special. It has nothing to do with this world. It has to do with exploring though, so yeah. I'm going to prepare myself a little bit, maybe craft up some armor. Oh yeah, before I forgot I upgraded my tools by the way to what's good where is it? Damascus Damascus steel? Yeah. I have a Damascus steel uh X uh X and X and a shovel in one. So a meth hog. And a Damascus steel pickaxe. So yeah, a really cool one. I, I I'm really happy with these tools. Still using this tempered blade, it's like I don't know why, but the as it says the durability is high but it's like crazy high because I've killed so many mobs I don't even know how many but yeah anyway guys I'm going to prepare myself for the next segment I just wanted to show off a little bit of uh, just want to show off what I've done in the meanwhile uh, I hope you're just ex as excited about castle as me I'm really stoked for it I can't wait to build more on it <laughs> and yeah I think that's it for this section so uh, if you have any ideas about castle, because I'm not going to mention that, I think, I don't know. Uh, if you have any ideas about castle or just some tips or tricks or maybe some cool pictures about uh, some uh, Minecraft related buildings, castle type things, some medieval style buildings, just send me to uh, send me uh, send me them uh, over a PM on uh, uh, Twitter because I do read about Twitter quite often now actually, <laughs> and uh, yeah or. Uh, YouTube or the, for that matter anyway guys I will see you guys in the next segment welcome back people well as you may notice I have prepared if you may see at the items that I have in my heart by you may know where we are going to but I'm going to just say it right here right now we are going to the twilight forest just um, not only because uh, let's activate it boom oh yeah <laughs> love the thunder love the thunder amazing am I ready I think I am uh, see extra food to come back uh, yeah let's jump in um, I will cut now a little bit because uh, I don't want to see all the lag and stuff so uh, there is, there will be lag basically, so i see you guys in a second on the other side, oh yeah. Alright people, welcome back. We have just landed into the twilight forest. Let's kill some chickens because they are annoying me. Anyway guys, we are in the twilight forest and I'm going to explore just a little bit. See what's up with the surroundings. I see on the mini map we have a thorns thingy over there. Nope, 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 nope. This is bad. Okay, I think I'm going to use my other sword though. I need to level it up uh, the other one a little bit more. And it, I don't want to level it here, the sword, because this is kind of a deadly area. Just hear the crow. Crow. Um, there is actually a reason why. I've, oh, the lag is real. There's actually a reason why I've ki come here. Um, the main reason is because of the loot in these trees. I know the trees are big. Uh, I know these things are annoying. Luckily their sound isn't playing at the moment, so yay. Uh, but there is some loot in this tree, so let's see. There's not guaranteed. It's basically a tree dungeon or something like that. I think it's called that. Yeah, a tree, dun a tree dungeon. It almost sounds like a number three dungeon, but it's not a number three dungeon. In these trees, you have like, I think there's one there. I, I'm pretty sure there's one there. Nope. There's one near here. Ah, here. Oh. Because the loot in this, like there are some saplings I want. I didn't got any, but uh, I will grab the loot I, that I can grab. I think there's maybe also one here. Nope. Oh, the lag is real, people. The lag is real. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm sometimes talking like really soft, but I'm not uh, that certain about my English. I find it myself quite bad, but 
Eh, I don't know. Oh yeah, there's one more here. Awesome. Uh, still not found the things I really want to find. Oh, I can use the bucket though. Uh, so I'm going to loot some trees and if I find what I want to find, I will see you guys in just a minute, I think. So, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back. As you see, I found myself a tree of transformation sapling. This basically converts bio in an enhanced, enhanced biome actually. I love the look of this tree, that's why I planted right in the middle of my castle. I can't really wait until it like, I don't know if it's like obstructs the castle or just makes it better, but I can't imagine having like big structure behind it and like oh, being a oh, beautiful tree, beautiful castle. I really can't wait for it. I also found myself a tree sorting, uh, sorting tree sapling. I have no idea where to place this one because I don't know. Because I want to kind of use it for like, um, oh, let's call it uh, Botania or the other one. Mm, I don't know. But I, I think I'm going to plant this one later on. But I really want to have this one in the middle because it can start converting the area. I don't know if you can see it already. It should be flickering a little bit. Yeah, you see, it's hard just happening. It's, it's a really cool biome though. I haven't found it yet in this. Oh, I'm sorry if you can't see that. I have to. I'm sorry if you could see that uh, if you have for the cut, but I got an email notification and I had to cut it out. So, uh, yeah. With some personal info. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to do some more off camera work. Maybe explore the twilight a little bit more. Uh, also, I'm sorry I couldn't record in twilight, but. Uh, I got like one FPS as soon a few seconds after I started like recording and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it wasn't really an option for me. I think I don't want to show footage with like one FPS. Uh, I think I'm going to do some, uh, as I said, some more off camera work. I think I'm going to empty out the shack a little bit. I know I just built it, but um, I kind of want to live already into the castle for some reason. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I thought there was a creeper or something. <laughs> oh, some tackle craft stuff. Uh, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to get the uh, stuff moving and I'll uh, see you guys in a second. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I have been a little bit busy. Um, I've moved over the smeltery off to the castle. Um, also, this thing is running uh, full, so I uh, stopped it for now. Uh, I am planning to move this over to the automation area, but uh, yeah, that will uh, come on uh, all, at, it's, uh, all at this time. Because I have to uh, fill around a lot with all of the stuff uh, we are working now on, so yeah, it will take some time. Uh, by the way, I love how this looks. This is going to be only this corner, I'm not going to do the whole room shit bricks. Only like this corner a bit because this is the smeltery area. Just love how this looks. Sadly, I uh, micro blocks uh, adding micro blocks to the uh, to a file is kind of hard because you know I have to know the exact name of the bricks and stuff like that, and I don't know them, so now I have to find it out because I want to have this uh, this part also like all covered up without seeing the. Uh, shit brick on the top side because this is going to be a darker type of wood i think uh, i only want to um, add a little bit of details to this corner so i have some stuff uh, ready i have some uh, casting basin i have no idea what i i want to put this some random uh, stuff because uh, this is going to be my uh, for now it's my main way to double my horse but i'm i'm thinking about using flex beard steam mod I'm not sure about it though, because uh, it seems to be there's an R dumbling mechanic in it, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, uh, we are decorating this area, and I was thinking about, uh, I've made some bookcases. I don't know where to put them. I th I find them a little bit too, like, uh, wood color-ish. I, I probably should use a dark wood color. I was also looking at carpenter's blocks if they have something added, but they don't. Copper is safe. Ooh. 
Maybe that's cool to add in here somewhere. I can put it there. Let's see. Yeah, that's looking good. I think I will keep it there because uh, we have some uh, some of the books. Uh, let's see. Um, that one there, that one there, and that one there. I put uh, them in this order because this is close to the smeltery, so this would be mighty smelting. This is more for the uh, tools mechanics, and I think I will. I think I would put the tools here. Yeah, that would be cool. I have no idea where I, where I want to make the floor out of yet. I think something like uh, s smooth stone and then chiseled. I don't know yet. Let's continue. Oh, I have to put on this faucet. I need to make myself a second smeltery drain for the uh, cast uh, basin. But uh, that will come in time. I also want to put my anvil somewhere in there. I first was thinking about here, but it seems a little bit out of place. What do you guys think? I think I, would, I will put it here. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit. No, I want to have here a decent path so I can do stuff. Oh, do stuff more decent there. Okay, hopefully I also have this crafting station. I don't know where I want to put it. I think I want to put it in a storage area. I also need to work on my storage area, but I think I will do that uh, off camera because it's kind of boring and kind of repetitive work. So, yeah, let's see. I also wanted to put somewhere. Uh, uh, Cosmic table. I have no idea where though. Hmm. Not there. Oh, like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe here. Yeah, I think that will do. And just put in a cast, like the ingot cast. I think I will make another one because this is purely aesthetic. I kind of like how clean this is looking, but also not really. Are they like cracked? versions of the bricks let's see I know they are but uh, I don't know how to make them think is construct oh let's see let's see how to make them oh maybe with the yeah I probably need to chisel for that I know you can use these for the smeltery block oh it even says you can use them Ooh, maybe some smooth stone variants of that. I don't know. I, I will uh, fiddle around with that a little bit with that later. I also kind of want to um, have a casting base in here filled with, uh, I don't know, some colorful metal. I don't know. I have to uh, work about that. And maybe I have to make a temporary smeltery here to just fill this thing. <laughs> would be a bit of a hassle but it will be worth it because I like decorating stuff other than that I think I have this pretty much set up I know you can put like a hopper here and feeding into this thing but I don't want to automate this uh, this is go going to be it's not at the moment but uh, I might automate it from now but this is going to be my uh, only my tool making area and alloy making area and stuff like that because I don't want to automate uh, everything with Tinker's contract because um, lava is easy to find at the moment but it will be a scare material at some point even though I, I know I can go to the nether and get grab some lava I kind of want to use flexbeard steam powered mod uh, for that also we might start with that mod today still if there's enough time I'm going to check the video in a second uh, to see if you have enough time uh, I also want to put this thing in here. I am. I, I love how this is looking. I only can get like this thing on that side. It keeps like facing that side for some reason. Ah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because of this thing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This thing is too quick for me. Uh, please nope I don't think that's possible let's see no keeps uh, facing that way I think uh, I would love uh, to have this thing face really really 
It was working a second ago. Uh, this thing is also really too fast. Anyway, guys. Oh. Anyway, guys. Uh, let me uh, fix up this area again. I made a big mess, and I'll see you guys in a second when I have something else to show, or maybe I have to wrap up tips. Or I don't know. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys. I think this is it for this episode. The uh, episode is almost 30 minutes, so I'm going to talk this uh, to the 30 minutes. I want to thank you all, guys, again for watching this episode. I've enjoyed it a lot to record and to do the prep work and stuff like that. Um, thank you, guys, for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe because that keeps me really motivated. I'm already really motivated, but that makes me extra motivated when I read a comment about how lovely the episode was even uh, negative uh, comments uh, please give it to me because they help me out tremendously you don't even know how much they help me because i'm still a beginner youtuber i don't know even if i can call myself a youtuber yet because i don't find myself that professional yet anyway guys also don't forget to follow me on twitter to get sneak peeks about uh, upcoming episodes anyway guys thank you guys a lot for watching I hope you see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.